guys, before today's vlog starts, I just wanted to share with you my trip to Homestead Saddlery in Ireland. So this was the first meet and greet I did. I went to both tax shops in Ireland and as you can see, this was my first time ever seeing a tax shop in Ireland and I was so impressed. I absolutely love all the decorations. There was the guy playing the saxophone. He was giving me a little tour around the shop really. I was following him around and having a little look around. Those were my books in the shop. I I don't know if I've mentioned this already, but there, this shop was absolutely massive. They literally had anything you could ever imagine, from horse treats to bridles to saddle pads to even saddles. And they actually had their own little saddle fitting station in this tuck shop, which was so cool. Um, this was the first signing I did. There was actually 600 of you guys that got tickets for this, so a huge thank you to everyone who came. I hope you all had an amazing time. Um, I had an amazing time as well. It's quite rare that I come over to Ireland, so every time I come over here, I just have, over there, sorry, I just have the most amazing time. It's always so fun. Everyone I meet are always so friendly and I absolutely love the accent. I don't know what it is about my family, but we absolutely love Irish people and we love their accent as well. Like we tried to like all copy the Irish accent and it was it was pretty funny. It was pretty hilarious, to be honest, because everyone did not sound Irish at all. I can't believe how many of you guys had the popcorns, the popcorn hobby horses, the cloudies, the colouring books, the yearbooks. You guys are all just so amazing and seeing you with everything, it just feels so surreal really. After my meet and greet, I quickly had a little skim around the shop and found this pick and mix stand for your ponies. How cute is this? You can pick and mix some treats and I thought it was so cute. So I got some for the ponies and they actually had some the other day actually and they loved them. Then we headed off for some lunch to get all nice and energetic for my afternoon signing. Look at these pancakes. They were absolutely delicious. Here is me rolling up, getting ready for my last signing of the day. When I first saw the saxophone guy on my first meet and greet, I was very surprised and it took me for a bit of a shock to be honest and I was not expecting it at all. But what an entrance. I mean, it can't get any more extravagant than that really <laughs> After I'd finished my afternoon signing, I headed round Homestead Saddlery and did a proper in detailed shop. I went upstairs because there is an upstairs as well. This is my non horsey management trying on some hats and it was pretty funny to be honest. Then I'd actually never seen a sock collection this big in my whole entire life and the gloves as well everything there was just so much of and you had you were spoiled for choice here was the schleich there was lots of animals there ponies dogs cows sheep goats there was literally everything you could imagine in that shop it was like a toy shop but for equestrians it was it, i was living the dream and this was like a full-on tack shop for your for your toy pony because there was literally everything there was rugs hobby horses, there's literally everything. They had an incredible amount of Lemire in there. So if you're a Lemire fan, go to Homestead Saddlery because there is not one thing that they don't have. I spotted this gorgeous elastic navy Lemire belt and I was in love. Then I got to the coats and I got a bit distracted at the coats to be honest. I started trying some bits and bobs on and um, quickly realized that I thought I needed a new coat. Um, make that two new coats. I found this long Atlantic Lemire coat and it is like a duvet that you can walk in. It's amazing. Then I signed the jacket I was wearing for one of my signings and I'm actually going to be doing a giveaway. So stay tuned on Homestead's Instagram to be in with a chance of winning it. Good luck to everyone. It's now the next day and we've travelled all the way down to Kildare. This was another absolutely beautiful store. I was super impressed. It was another amazing day and I can't tell you how many popcorns I've seen and signed. There were absolutely loads. Thank you so much to Homestead Saddlery for having me and a huge thank you to everyone who came and I do hope to be back soon. But a massive thank you to this person who gave me these cupcakes. They were delicious. I absolutely loved them. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for watching my mini island trip and let's continue with the rest of the video. Hey guys, today I've got a super, super exciting vlog. And I know I probably say that every single vlog, 
but this one is going to be truly exciting. Today I'm going to be riding my friend's 138 show jumping pony and I actually rode him, he's called Arj, some of you might remember him. I rode him about a year ago, um, but I, when I rode him, I, pre I rode Popcorn like before I rode him and I fell off Popcorn. So I, my confidence was pretty knocked from that day. So I was a little bit nervous on Arj. Hopefully I'm a little bit more confident this time and yeah, well, I'm going to give you a bit of a backstory from Arj. So Arj went to Hoy's um, this year and he came third in the 138s, which means he's like one of the best ponies in the country. So I feel like I've got a lot of pressure going on me here. And if all goes well today, guys, I'm going to be doing a show jumping competition on Arj this weekend. Arj jumps 1m15 courses to 1m20, so it might even be bigger. I'm going to ask Alfie in a minute. He owns him. I'm going to go into the yard now, but I just can't wait, guys. Like, I, it is like turn, it's about to be pitched black in about five minutes because so, I've come here after school um, and it's a winter now, so everything's just dark and miserable, but let's go. So this is Alfie. He rides Arj and... Um, Wait, what was the height that he jumped at Hoy's? 125. 125. And he's the same height as Popcorn, so... Um, I don't ever think Popcorn would be able to get that high enough against Popcorn. What's the biggest you've jumped on, Arj? Probably 130. Oh my God. At a show, at Hoy's. Oh, at Hoy's? Yeah. Oh. Was it a single fence or was it as a course? I have a jump off. Oh my god. That's like bigger than him. Yeah, it is. I think if Paul was to do that, he'd need like a trampoline in front of the jump. Yeah. Yeah, he would. Paul was scared to do 90. I oh, just ready and raring. You can trot on if you want. Does he feel different? Pardon? Does he feel different? Yeah, he does. He feels like, he already feels more like light footage than popcorn. Yeah. I feel like when Arj would be excited, he'd be like floaty. If popcorn was excited, he, he stomps. He's really floaty when he's excited. <laughs> He was a little bit like Panda, like his counter, but like not at all. Like, yeah, he's got really big strides, but then he's got like a lot more bounce than Panda, so. Is he a Connie? Yeah. Yeah. He was bred in, he was bred in France. Oh. He's very excited. Wow. <laughs> He's got a lot of pony power. Yeah, he has, yeah. He's just um, like always looking for a jump. You can change the rain if you want, Harlow, and come and jump that little water tray. Back canter and then just squeeze him as you come into it. Very good. All right, I'll chuck that. All right, calm down, boy. All right, same again. Back canter, same. Don't squeeze this time, whoa. Very good. Once more. Whoa, yeah, very good. Just try and keep him a bit straighter after the fence. Whoa. Much better. Right. I'll just build you an oxer. Keep going, keep going, keep going now. Very good. Right, same again. Yep. No different, just don't fire him off the corner as much. Just stay in that canter the whole way to the bottom of the fence.
much better. He does, he's so good. <laughs> so cool. Remember, hold him and then go straight afterwards. Much better. He just does it so easily. Like, I'm not used to having to, like, just like almost sit there. Yeah, he just takes you. He just takes you, like. No matter what stride you're on, he'll just take you. Oh. Up this vertical here. Yeah. And then come back for your double. Just in that canter. Hold on, oh, I missed it. Sorry, Arj. Whoa. Very good. Now round to your double. Turn now. Get straight. Leg. Oh my God. Very good. Um, so we're going to go over the red rainbow, up there four strides. Just wait when you land, just wait. Okay. And he'll take you. Let him go, let him go. Very good. Right, get straight. Straight. Very good. Oh, I think I put five in there. Yeah, come round, just uh, just change the rain and come up that once more. Just stay in the same canter the whole way around, yeah? Yeah. Bit more. There. Straight. One, two, three, four. Very good. One stride double. Bit more canter. Leg to hand. Good. Very good. Round to your mint. Get straight, straight, straight. Oh, sorry, Arch. Very good. Get straight, leg on, and sit, wait, wait, wait. Very good. Oh my God. It's different. It's a lot different. I bet. Bit different to popcorn. Just a bit. <laughs> Bless him. Knowing that I'm not going to fall off a random jump. I remember that last time you were here and you fell off at the green. I know. Roll top. And then Sarah got on and she couldn't even get him over. Yeah. I know, right? I thought I heard trotting. This is like Kylie's counter. It's just like he's always going somewhere. It's like he's like late for work or like late for the train or something. He's just like keen. This is the walk I do when I'm late to art. Because I'm not allowed to run, I've got a conversation. One. I've actually never known a pony walk so fast. He loves it. He's 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 naughty. It really isn't power walk. Right, pick up your canter. Just left or right? Uh, left. Okay. And then we'll jump around the same course again. Right, off you go. Can I go? Yep. Just remember, stay straight and a little bit more canter. Good boy. Get into your corner, into your corner. Whoa. Move. 
Very good. Now get straight. Just whoa in the middle of the double. Very good. Round to your mint. Remember, into your corner. Into oh, your corner. Man. Sorry, Arch. Down this line. Remember, stay straight and move your first few strides and then wait. Much better. Thank you so much, Alfie. It's That's been right. amazing. He's a good boy. Yeah. He went. He went very well. At a show, is he like more excited than this? Mm, can be. Depends how long he's been out. But no, not really. He won't get any more excited. He'll just jump bigger. Oh, what, even like, bigger over, than over he did. Yeah. More. Yeah. <laughs> he jumped yeah. the top of those wings. Yeah, he does jump big. Yes, bless him. What height do you want to do on Panda? Uh, I'll probably do 17, and 80 as well. As yeah. You. I don't know if there is a 90. I don't know. Oh. Not too oh, sure. I don't know if mum's entered or not, I wouldn't have a clue. I'm not too sure. Mum does the entries, I ride the ponies. <laughs> That's like my mum. She only tells me we're going to a share like the week before. Yeah, sometimes deliveries will go, oh, where are you going today? Don't know, just run, run some ponies. I'm super excited to, to jump him on Sunday now. He's definitely a lot different since last time, but yeah. yeah. You'll see what he's like at show on Sunday anyway. Yeah. Stay tuned for our competition vlog. I'm so excited and I'll see you soon. Bye.